It's my favorite thing. Have pretty girls fly over from England and make them work for me. That's going up. We're gonna wanna go the other way. Make a decision that's gonna last for the rest of your life in 1.5 minutes. Perfect, all right, let's go. You can do it, use your strength. Just get your face real close so you can hear it. Go ahead and let it down, depress the small pedal, and let's get this thing out of the way. Whoa. What's up, Rito Shade Tree Surgeon with the one, the only, imported from England, <laughs> sun bleached in the flesh. Good day, chaps. Yes, that's what we like. She's had all sorts of exotic delights since she came here to Florida. She partied with us last night. She had pineapple for the first time. She saw a bird, <laughs> lizards, all sorts of things. Yeah. One of those funny things, you go, why is this girl here? I've actually known uh, online, although we met for the first time last night. I've actually known Sun Bleached Fern online for three, over four years. Three, four years. Six yeah. years, seven <laughs> years now. A decade. <laughs> yeah. About four years we've been hanging out online. So it's nice to finally press flesh and press her into service. The Sportster's broken. I need your help. Once again, once again, with this flat. I don't see any broken spokes this time, which is what happened last time, but, oh, wait. Nope, there it is. So, I do have a broken spoke on this. That is gonna be what caused this flat. I think I'm gonna have to get some new spokes. So I thought I was gonna be able to replace this wheel. I'm actually not gonna be able to, because it has a broken spoke, which is gonna make it useless. Damn. <laughs> well, we just kinda put it up here for nothing, Fern. <laughs> I thought none of my spokes were broken. That's, this is what caused the failure. So what happens is this wiggles around once it breaks, but it'll chew a hole in the rim strip or it would have done it in the tube. And just punch it. And, it, and then, yeah, and then you lose all your air through there. Damn, damn, that sucks. Good try, good day of work. Wow, <laughs> thanks for fucking nothing. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, Sun Bleach, are you ready to experience my essence? Are you ready to experience the majesty of the gold wing, the mail order glide, the Bangkok bagger, baby, the green gold wing of love? Your very first motorcycle ride in America. Sun Bleach is gonna ride, gonna ride a motorcycle later, but for right now, since she's never ridden in America, and she's going to get her first American tattoo, we're just gonna put her on the back. All right, let's rock and roll. Running about 20 minutes late as per usual, but hey, we're doing things the American way today. Put her in a cowboy hat, we handed her her very first gun, and we set her loose, baby. Time to go get tattooed. Unfortunately, you're on the mail order glide, which is, uh, you know, very quiet and it works really well, which is not the American way. I mean, it's also falling apart, so that's definitely the Brap Star way. Now, there's a whole lot of different ways happening right now. We got the Brap Star way, we got the American way, we got the Costome way. So I don't know which way we're going, but that's pretty much par for the course, too. I do know I'm feeling some kind of way because my front tire, I realized after I got on the interstate, is uh, pretty much flat. So, fingers crossed, sun bleach, this might be a short trip. You might get more permanent marks than just a tattoo on your first American adventure, but chick stick scars, right? Don't worry, don't worry. If you're at home worrying about poor little sun bleach there on the back of the crusty old Bangkok bagger, if the front tire blows out, I'll just drop it down to third, pop a wheelie, and just ride on the back wheel the rest of the way to Tiger Temple, okay? Not a big deal. I have this completely under control at all times. Uh, um, I definitely went the wrong way. Damn it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, like I said, some kind of ways. <laughs> the shade tree way is I went the wrong way and just got off on the wrong exit, dude. We might be going all the way to St. Pete. Oh, sorry, Ken. <laughs> Sun bleach is getting the scenic tour. All right, now we're going to Tiger Temple. I just wanted, I just wanted to show her the cross town. She wanted to see the ocean. I mean, they got oceans over in England. I don't know. Tiger Temple tattoo, the first place in Tampa with official Shade Tree Army only parking. Up here at Tiger Temple. Yeah, what are you thinking? Make a decision that's gonna last for the rest of your life in 1.5 minutes, which is one minute and 50 seconds, actually. Perfect, all right, let's go. <laughs> one for the ages, who's to say, really? Math is one of the three things I'm really bad at. The other two are? What's that? Math. <laughs> people who uh, do what we do for a living and people who tattoo, we're not really good at anything else. That's why we do this. <laughs> My dad always says that, man, you're lucky you can draw 
pictures because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Aww. No, I love my dad. He's great. But he's fucking right. You ready for your first tattoo in America? I'm ready to. You ready to? First gym tattoo. Yeah, we can't put what he's getting tattooed on YouTube though. Super secret snake. <laughs> yeah, I've already said too much. So I wanted her to get a hot dog with human genitalia and a cowboy hat, but I think she's getting orange blossoms, so I think that's probably a better choice. Do you have any genitalia tattooed on you at all? No. Well, you got, you were you were you were 12 inches away. <laughs> Can you believe sun bleaches down here just letting it all hang out? Literally just letting them size fives out. I can't believe she's just sitting here like that. Just letting them freaking hang out in the breeze, baby. Who's been a bad little piggy? <laughs> mm, she declined any tattooed genitalia. That's all right. I forgive you. Tattoo machine is gold. I love that. Dude, that's freaking awesome, man. Ken, a man after my own heart, dude. All I want to do is be Ken when I grow up. One day I'll have to, after he dies, it will consume him and take his power. You're getting bull peanuts. <laughs> Jay just said it, man. Spicy bull peanuts, the caviar of the South. Great for after tattoos, because that means you can just finger fuck your tattoo with some sticky, spicy bull peanut fingers. It's under there somewhere, don't worry about it. It's okay, you can scratch it. The Southern caviar on deck, chromed out motorcycles and rusty ones. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're in the Tampa Bay area and you want a souvenir and you want a tattoo and you don't come see my very good friend, my bosom buddy, my absolute pal, Ken Dean, that's okay, I understand. You can get tattooed by anybody. It's just a little more fun when it's here. It's really fun. <laughs> oh, mine doesn't sound as cool when it starts up. No, I know. Remember? No, no. It just sounds like a microwave on defrost, man. Get your cooter on the scooter. We will, man. I'll catch up with you soon, Ken. All right, get in your baby seat. We got full peanuts, we got fresh tattoos, and we got a fishing trip to give away. Time to go home and do the... Oh, there it goes. Time to get home and live stream, give away a fishing trip, and bring another man down to the wang. Or it could be a girl, it could be anybody, dude. Bring someone else down to the wang to experience the debauchery that Shade Tree Army has to offer. There she goes. <laughs> Speaking of, I don't know if it gets any better than this, boys. I guess it's about as good as it gets right here. <laughs> this is all right. Riding side by side with Shay Lisi, we got Diplomat bringing up the rear. I got a pretty girl from out of state, not just out of state, baby, out of the country. I got her sitting on the back seat of this gold wing. Life ain't bad. We're on our way, Cammy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hear you. We're on our way back. We're going to the live stream. Cammy base coming over. God damn! What's up? You look hot. <laughs> Dude, check out Cammy. It looks banging. All right, we're heading back to the fort right now. We'll see you there, kiddo. Hell yeah. They're loving it, baby, they're loving it. Give them the beans, the baked beans. That's what Fern gives them. Easy, right? Hey, go ahead, do your thing. Right around. You can go all over this. And yell at you, what are you doing here? You'd be like, I'm not from here. Our girl Sunbleach has had two experiences on motorcycles in Florida so far. One on the Trail 125 and one on the Sporty. She likes the clutch a little bit better. I don't blame her. But hey, look at that. You're riding American streets. You're even riding illegally. Wait, illegally? What did I say? I said you're riding for fun. Oh, okay. Hopefully all this shit talk and hopefully my Ducati starts. It doesn't always. I'll be a gentleman. You know what? Let it never be said that Shay Tree isn't a gentleman to a girl when he first meets her. It's later on that you have to worry about. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you need a key, don't you? Unnatural sun bleaches. Never a doubt in my mind. Of course, like whatever training course they give them over there in England is so much more intensive than the, I didn't ever take a course to learn how to ride a motorcycle. You just kind of learn how to ride a motorcycle and that's it. I know now you, most places you got to take a motorcycle course, but yeah, I never took that. You just kind of learned and then you go about your business. Now over there in England, man, you got to want to ride motorcycles. They make it expensive. But now sun bleach is in America and uh, you know, maybe her license 
over there only says she's allowed to ride a 125, but 1200 cc's, baby. I believe in you, kid. I even got my speed over here in kilometers as a as a little ode to our girl Fern back there. I think she just had her first stall back there, but that's all right. Hey, did you get it? Hell yeah. And the kicks in, don't worry, there's only about a thousand people watching, especially now that you just revved it, no no pressure. All right, well I didn't pull out the camera because it's all uh, friends of mine, but Fern just got to experience the creme de la creme, the elite of Tampa Bay. I don't know if they it would really be the elite. It's more like the scum of Tampa Bay, but that's all right. These are my people. <laughs> <laughs> Here in Ybor City, bocce ball tournament. You guys have seen it before on the channel. Uh, really nice catching up with everybody. We're waiting on Diplomat to get here and hopefully I'm finally cool as well. It's time to actually do something about this rear wheel. So I was hoping that it was just the tire, but it again, it is a broken spoke again. So I've got to pull these wheels off this thing. I'm going to send them out and get them respoked with stronger. I'm going to send the hubs out anyway, because the hubs are great. I'm going to send the hubs out, get them respoked with different different spokes that are stronger and different rims. But I still need this thing to be a roller while I do so. Luckily, I've got some random rims hanging around here that will hopefully fit on there. The only one way to find out. It's my favorite thing. Have pretty girls fly over from England and make them work for me. <laughs> hey, you did enough work for Maria last night. <laughs> Today, it's my kind of work, which is much sweatier and dirty, believe it or not. Standards on that side. Either. Metrics on this side. So am I using metrical? Standard. Standard. Um, which is weird because those are metric, the other ones are standard. Yeah. What's really weird about it is this is actually a show of front end, which is Japanese. So there is a mixture of standard and metric parts all over it. It's really strange. Yeah. But for this one, standard. Just, okay. But side. usually you just have to guess. I don't know. Look at the... <laughs> no, no. One more. Bigger. Nope. Uh, probably the next one. That one? Yeah. All right. Does that fit? Yeah. That's good. Hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, doesn't it seem like I know what I'm doing when I already just knew which one it was? <laughs> I promise you, I don't. You go to a place to take tires off? Um. Wow. <laughs> wow, I thought you were different. I'm just kidding, I do too. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Wait, doctor, you don't have to be a nurse if you don't want to be. I ain't smart enough to be a doctor or a nurse. I'm not smart enough to be a doctor. They still gave me a PhD. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What up? Alright. You know how you get spokes off? I've done it before, but I do not remember. With a fucking grinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you freaking take them off with a little wrench? Yeah. <laughs> nah. No. We just cut them off. Yeah, oh, if we okay. wanted to reuse it, or we were just respoken it or something like that. We, or you, I mean, if you were respoken it, for me, there's not, unless you had a f***ed up hub or something, it's like, why would you ever loosen these? You would just cut them off, because you're usually replacing them. But I'm just like, if you already got it apart, just can put new spokes on it. They're technically a wear item. You want to cut it? You like using a grinder? Uh, I usually have safety goggles on. Just close your eyes. Just close my eyes. Yeah. Burns going. I'm, wor I'm worried about this up. I'm like, no, nah, that's what we're doing. Check it out. Look. <laughs> Look at you, you're helping. You did it! Look at you, you ruined it. That used to be a wheel, a functioning wheel. <laughs> and now it's not. Why are my hands dirty? Sun bleach? What do you think? You just came over here? You're just gonna not get your hands dirty? I gotta get my hands dirty? It's all dirty. Your hands are dirty? <laughs> yeah, slippery too. What are they dirty with? So, go ahead and put that other wheel spacer in there. But it doesn't matter because we're not riding it. We just need it to roll. The wrong, like, so the wrong spacers for this. Grab that impact. And then you can zip, zip them the rest of the way off. I haven't actually used the impact driver before. Just make sure it's going up, not down. Wait, no, make sure it's going down, not up. Wait, just make sure it's going the right way. So the right way is left. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do with my hands, you know? Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Got it. You don't reuse these anyway. These are single use bolts. Oh, perfect, ride it. Cool, let's go. Does it look close on that side? Is there any air coming out? Just get your face real close so you can hear it. Yes, it is. Why do you think they say welcome to hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
tummy bit? Is that how they fuck it? Is that some pillow talk? You tell me, man. <laughs> what, Devna, you're down for a tummy bit? Oh, it's not fancy. I can't tell you how long I worked on all these lifts without knowing what that shit was for. Forever, I'd be struggling for your tires. Really? I forget who showed me. I, it might have been Shelby. He goes like, yeah, dipshit. I was like, damn, that makes sense. I never even thought about what that shit was for, dude. Every screwdriver in the world says, do not use this like a chisel. But what I always say, if you didn't want me to use it like a chisel, why'd you shape it like one? I said, decon that pin. That's also another fun thing on Harley's that I never thought of. Actually, Shay Lisi thought of it. And she goes, is this entire thing, the whole wheel, all of that power, me going down the road at 100 miles an hour, and the only thing holding it in is that little bendy piece of steel. That's it. It that stresses me out. Like, oh, I don't think about it, man. Here's the thing is I don't think about much. Yeah. So, so there's lots of room? There's no space for that. But when I do actively think about it, it's seriously yeah. just anxiety and <laughs> Oh my god. You can do it, use your strength. Ah! Excalibur! This is the equalizer, baby. So, you just break loose with that. Oh, okay. Now, turn. Oh, oh no! So sorry, oh my god. <laughs> okay. No panic on the Titanic. That's enough working on bikes. It's time to ride some bikes, baby. The sportsman might be down and out, but we got the green gold wing of love, the Bangkok bagger to the rescue. Like I say, Honda, man. Harley owners need dependable alternatives. Get your cooter on a scooter, kiddo. Oh, Alex the gentleman, as always. A consummate gentleman, the diplomat is. Uh-oh. Never a doubt in my mind. On our way. River's Edge, baby. That is a Brap Star staple. I've been going to the River's Edge for as long as I've been making YouTube videos. And guess what? I was going there way before I was making YouTube videos, too. And we ain't gonna let some bleach on the back there get away without a trip to a real live Florida man biker bar at River's Edge. That one fits the bill, baby. Come on, giddy up. You can do it. There we go. Hey, you get it above 4,000 RPM. That single carburetor does work, baby. Yeah, the Goldwing might be falling apart. Needs a carb rebuild, rear suspension, and uh, probably quite a few other things, too. This thing takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I just absolutely love a bike that you can put through hell, and it still shows up every day with a smile on its face. That's this Goldwing. That's Shea Lisi Sportster, the Dirtster. Yeah, they might get down and out a little bit. I guess the Goldwing don't do that one, but eh, they ain't ever down for the long. But Besides, no motorcycle is down forever. You know, there's always hope. They say hope is the most dangerous thing in the world. And I love me some hope. I'm running on hopes and dreams pretty much every single day. Yeah, some bleach will see my whole speech about running on hopes and dreams and crossing my fingers and just uh, believing in the goodwill of man and trusting that God loves an idiot. She'll see all that speech after she gets off the bike later when she sees these videos. You know, I'm not, I'm not telling her that while she's riding on the back. I don't want to scare the poor girl. Where there's a will, there's a way. That dude's rolling on a scoot down 41 like the old lady just called and said, my parents ain't home. The wild, wet, and wonderful River's Edge. Looks like it's a busy day out here too. I read there's just as many people out on boats as there's on bikes. Well, probably more people on boats than on bikes. My man's here on an FXR and a touring one. Ooh, early one too. Look, it's got the, uh, the chain in case back there. It's just a really neat one right here. When Harley Davidson was still running chains back in the 80s on the last couple years they encased the whole thing so it didn't fling it was like a luxury thing so it didn't fling up any chain lube on you you almost never see a bike that still has that setup on it sun bleach very first time eating snot from a rock hey can i have the horse riders horse riders yeah you gotta have the horse riders you kidding me yeah plenty of it too wow whoa okay no that's great that's the amount i put on there you did great i'm just kidding it's fine you're fine you're fine you're fine, you're fine. eat it 
I just shove it. Eat it. Yeah, yeah. Whole thing. All at once. It's not savory. I'll be right back. I'm gonna uh, go grab my friend. It's good, right? I put too much whole so I just shoved it. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Did you get to see the water they got that in England? She could might be living in the middle though. No, I didn't have a car, so this. Did you? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> You or any other red-blooded woman, don't worry. Dude, this is literally like the cheapest, this is the cheapest Amazon pairing they sell. This thing is whack. We'll see you guys later. With your cool ass jacket. All right, brother. Milady. Did you just call me my lord? <laughs> is that how they do it over there? The real Florida experience. Camaro's up on blocks, eating snot from a rock at River's Edge. We love it, baby. One of my favorite views of Tampa. The port here with the industry, with everything that makes this city tick, and with downtown right there and Ebor right in front of us. You gotta take a good with the bad. You can't ignore the port here and where we do our business here in Tampa. I like that from right here, you can get both. So, speaking of being about ready, where'd you get that Slim Jim? <laughs> Dr. Girlfriend of the Fox Glove came over because uh, we're supposed to be working on the mysterious Dr. Girlfriend's motorcycle. Yeah. But currently, my Sportster is occupying the lift. So I already made him wait around here while I went and ran some errands. They've just been hanging out on the couch. Now you're gonna have to wait a little longer while I get that off the lift. You're an asshole. Uh, I'm kind of a, I'm, uh, yes, I am. I apologize for nothing and everything. So this currently doesn't move because it doesn't have a wheel, but lucky, I have so many wheels, so I have another random one I'm just gonna stick on the back so we can turn it into a roller, so we can turn Dr. Girlfriend into a roller. Look at her freaking just like organizing everything over there. It's You're hired. It's <laughs> but, so now, I need my composite ratchet that I just in my brain right what's now. What's it look like? A torch bit on the end of it. Okay. I'm about to use oh, it. Oh wait, this. did I? Maybe I put it somewhere. Just like this one's a big one. It was right here. This, this, this one was on the left. Just like it. Foxglove side by side, like brothers. I mean, like 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 sisters, but also like brothers. <laughs> yeah, if the bike falls off, just you know. Step away. No, catch it. I'm kidding. Yes, <laughs> run away if the bike falls down. Exit stage left immediately. Look at that teamwork, man. You guys are freaking rock, dude. Like a tap, tap, tap. Just a tap, a tap, 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 a roo, baby. There we go. That's all we need. Oh, that's a good tap. It's good tap. It'd be great. Your tap is phenomenal. <laughs> now it can officially come off the lift. Uh, while Dr. Girlfriend is doing that, me and Fox Glove are going to make sure the bike doesn't fall off. So that's going up. We're going to want to go the other way. This way? Yeah. Remember the other way from what you're doing. Oh, I have to flip it. Yeah. There you go. I keep forgetting about that. It's okay. Dude, to this day, I do this all the time. I will sometimes go for it forget which way is left and right and do it the wrong way. Oh, it's like ready? Yeah, you can do it like it's that. Like that's what I thought. I was so wild. How do cuss go? Just do that again. Yeah. Oh, it's so wild. <laughs> And where'd you learn how to get that whistle from? It's good. I could, my mom told me I could whistle at uh, six months. Like when a dude whistles at you, you'd be like, listen, bitch, unless you come correct with a good ass whistle, don't <laughs> you can try me. Don't be I can whistle. All right, girls, we got ourselves a roller. Go ahead and let it down, depress the small pedal, and let's get this thing the hell out of the way. Whoa. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I really liked that. That was fun for me. I'm giving Shelly hard. <laughs> I swear I didn't. My back was hurt. And you were like, I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I'm so hungover right now. <laughs> this morning. 
I got up at like 8.30 this morning and Shelly looked at me. Ugh. <laughs> she rolled over. I was like, you good? Uh, I don't feel so good. And I'm like, I'll go get some water. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that both of you, for no matter what happened last night, look absolutely phenomenal today. Mentally, things are rough. Yeah, I mean, Physically, like, though, the part that really matters, uh, <laughs> everything's this great. Right half is like cramping, like the inside from just like lack of water. Uh, lack of water and confidence. <laughs> also, some bleach is gonna be down here to help us with this one too, and of course. Make sure you go check out the girls here on Instagram. We've got the Fox Love, the mysterious doctor girlfriend. Go check them out. Tell them howdy. Tell them old shade tree surgeon sent you. And make sure you say thanks for showing up, even though a, a long night of salsa dancing and drinking and still waking up ready to work on motorcycles. Hey, you know, motorcycles gotta come first. Yeah, motorcycles do have to come first, just like me, baby. All right, <laughs> until next time, y'all. Keep it weird. Crashing through the sky. Comes a fearful cry, shade tree, army, shade tree, army, armies of the night, evil taking flight, shade tree, army, shade tree, army, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, panic spreading far and wide. Can the world oppose the deadliest of foes? Shade tree, army, shade tree, army. Who will risk it all to end the evil call of shade tree, army, shade tree, army? They never give up, they never say die, walking tall with banners high. Shade Tree Army, a ruthless gang of scum, villains, freaks, and bikers determined to rule the world.